I'm standing here on this grand, majestic opera theatre stage. It's quiet, it's dark, it's lonesome. We're missing you. We really are missing you. The kiddies walking around and chit-chatting, the little bit of shuffling of paper or popcorn, the grannies hugging and seeing their old friends. On the side stage with artists who are a little bit fidgety or a little bit nervous or warming up or somebody on stage management telling everybody to shush because Pilan has already put on the mics and they might be picked up and be audible with the audience or maybe they are masking Dylan's light on backstage or whatever it is and the theater people are at the back of the stage getting ready to move sets and props around. We miss that. We miss your sighs when you see these beautiful things that happen on this stage. We miss you coming in in the foyer and just hanging around and having a chat and a good old giggle and a hug. But please stay safe, stay healthy, do all the responsible things because we want to see you very soon. There are things that are happening on stage. The lights are still on. As one of my colleagues has said, the show goes on. So we've got some drama, we've got some music, We've got some poetry, we've got some kiddie shows, we've got a lot of things that we've been filming behind the scenes and we will continue to do so. We're having conversations with uh, concerned artists and arts practitioners who are making commentaries that are important for us to take note of. We've got Joy Mbewana, we have got Monji Ngobo, we have got Dizozo Zulu, we've got Madala Gunene, Trinam Shope, uh, Lisa Bobet, a whole host of people every Friday afternoon will be posting and showing you the clips of what's happening. I just wanted to, to, to catch up with you guys and see how you're doing. Uh, coronavirus has brought uh, so many things that are not good, but also there are opportunities for us as the artistic community to um, become innovative, to uh, search deep inside the artist inside of us without the stage and the glamour of the lights and the sets and the costumes. How are you doing? It's been, it's been amazing for us uh, to do the kind of work we are doing at Tunamasigo because uh, we, I don't know if we told you last year, we adopted uh, the storytelling tree at Bluff Showgrounds. So we do performances once a month there and then we figure into them be go corona. What to corona salana makai ni to lend it to Salalela go corona some lalela get what you mean as I'm being and the way start to I actually depends. Tina Labo sneaker la corner under the storytelling tree. Manje we do a one hour performances with no audiences, social distancing, sanitizers, woo, I'm a disguise now. We have um <laughs> Prominent artists performing, but Matalabunene has performed already under the storytelling tree. We are filming all those events, and also here at home we've got the Peace Garden. We've had performances under the Peace Garden. Uh, Pezzi and I have been revamping the Peace Garden. I don't think it even recognizes itself. It's brand new because of Corona. So we've been working, and when the Playhouse said, let's come in and do something on the stages of the Playhouse and connect with young audiences, I jumped at that opportunity, you know, because it's extremely important for us to look at what we can say to each other as adults, but children are also looking and listening and confused. You know, and so for, for me to, to write something that addresses those young audiences. So I'm grateful to the Playhouse for that opportunity to present that show. I was saying to Tandegile that uh, it's the kind of show that I think is going to give birth to a book and a CD. 
Wow. So thank you, Playhouse. Truly, it was a moment of what do we do now? Because all the messages came in at once about cancellations of festivals and this, that, and the other, or silence altogether. There was a combination of everything because nobody knows how to handle this. Um, and so with my colleagues, we were like, okay, we'll keep working, we'll keep working. But you realize it's difficult to continue when you can't be in the same space. Mm. And the theater that we do also just involves a lot of closeness with one another. So that was a difficult adjustment. And so we put that on hold for some time. And I joined Writers Incubators. So currently I'm in a beautiful Writers Incubator with so many artists that I respect so much who are now looking at my work and helping me along with that as a scriptwriter. So that's an amazing project. Um, then I also started painting a lot, which is what wow. Mama was saying about the Peace Garden revamp. And then I started painting on clothes as well, which is yes, a yes. lot of fun. So that's a little other project that I'm doing now. Um, and then I learned that I could also be an interesting administrator, which I didn't know. I designed the new website for the organization and I'm helping with the digital platforms, which we are posting on Facebook and on our YouTube channel. Um, I'm also the office coordinator here. So I'm learning. I'm learning to deal with money as well, which is something artists are scared of. But it's good that I'm now forced to get into a situation where I'm like, OK, now we're dealing with this, that and the other. It's, it's, you've learned so much. Thank you very much for sharing. Oh 